On Wednesday, Trump said the White House will do something about the Hong Kong issue by the end of the week. The U.S. mortgage demand from house buyers showed unexpectedly strong and quick recovery and applications spiked 9% from a year ago. The U.A. unveiled a plan to borrow 750 billion euros to aid economic recovery and the U.K. lockdown drove the fastest growth in grocery sales for over 25 years. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kenna Danielle, the founder of the Invest Diva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. On Thursday, we'll be looking at the US durable goods orders and the GDP growth rate. Today, I'm looking at the CAD yen pair again because it actually broke above the resistance level and the range that I talked about yesterday and double down on its new bullish momentum early during Thursday's Asian session. The future cloud turned bullish and while we could expect a temporary pullback, there is a high chance that the pair is now headed towards the 50% Fibonacci tracement level of 79.33. Do you think this is a false breakout? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.